Irma has made it to Category 5 in status. Category 5 means the damage is going to be catastrophic. In order to get out of harm's way, you really need to get all the way up here into Georgia. Take a look at the eye, and you can really see the eye wall as it uh, continues its move to the west. And boy, look at how or circular it is. You know, FEMA is already strained. Governmental uh, resources are already strained because of Harvey. The strongest Atlantic hurricane on record outside of the Caribbean and the Gulf. Strongest on record. Unbelievable. So this may be uh, even more up to individuals to either get out of harm's way, to self-evacuate if you have to. Moving now to the west, an extremely dangerous hurricane getting closer and closer to the Leeward Islands. You know, you don't have to wait until an evacuation order to get out of the way. You can do whatever you need to do to do that. Now let's talk about the cone of uncertainty. First of all, the cone represents the probable track of the center of the tropical cyclone. Not the definite track, but the probable track. I'm not a professional meteorologist. I just watch patterns and notice trends. I don't know where Irma's going. If I had to take a guess right now, I would predict Texas or Louisiana. I don't trust that hard right turn at all. What do you got for me? An update. Good morning, folks. Are you cool? Hey, everybody. It's a heads up. Eyes to the skies. Because I'm going to be dropping some hard Thor News science upon you. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents, based off my solar physics theories, expect the weird to get weirder. Sweet. Solar physics up in your face. We need to be prepared. It's a perfectly symmetrical storm. You take the eye and you have the same amount of clouds on the west, east, north, and south side. We know a lot of people are making their preps in the United States, which is good. If people leave over time rather than uh, all at once, it makes it easier. Category 5 means catastrophic damage will occur within the storm. The closer you are to the high wall, the more likely the damage will be catastrophic. Now there's still no determined specifics on where Irma is going to head going to the U.S. And now to show you the cone. Again, strengthening as we go through the next several days and you can see where we have the potential by early Sunday of feeling some of those impacts across the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Thor and last year I was one of the first people to predict Hurricane Matthew and then I forecast it as well as anybody out there. Months ago, I predicted that when the atmospheric instability pattern that has displaced and affected 41 million people in Asia switched from the Pacific to the Atlantic, that the United States would get hit by multiple hurricanes. And then from the 22nd of August, I accurately predicted and forecast Hurricane Harvey as well as anyone out there. I believe government recommends you follow their warnings and I definitely recommend you do as much research as possible. So ultimately, the choice for what you do or don't do is up to you. But I want to repeat the message that I've been stating for a while. Everybody needs to prepare. Everybody needs to have a plan. And everybody needs to get ready. We still have about five days to prepare. It might be a great time for a family reunion somewhere in the middle of America. Now I'm going to try and keep my videos short so I can stay on top of it because we have so much data coming out right now. And we have a lot of situations going on with Irma, with Jose, and with the potential tropical storm that might be developing in the Gulf. Not a lot of people are talking about it. When I last saw, it had a 70% chance of development. And then this right here, that should bring a fair amount of rain to the East Coast in Canada. And this situation here definitely needs to be watched. And on the disturbing trends and patterns that I've noticed, that like they started off where it would hit Canada, and then it would hit the upper East Coast, and it would hit Virginia, and then it would hit North Carolina, and then it would hit South Carolina. And now they have it, it's hitting Florida. And so, as I've noticed, with my untrained, unprofessional pattern recognition, that when models tend to continue to trend one way, then they keep trending that way. So, that's why my feeling and fear is that this could be the path. I'm not saying this to scare anybody, but at a time where the media and almost all meteorologists have almost guaranteed that it can't hit Texas, I definitely think Texas needs to be prepared and just start making plans, preparations now for a worst case scenario. That's all I've ever asked, is that people pay attention and have a plan in case the worst case scenario comes to fruition. So I will do my best to keep y'all updated. Stay cool, be patient, and if you are in the path of this hurricane, just like I warned 
my friends and family before I evacuated Houston. 2017 is going to be unlike any other year we've ever seen in regards to weather. And whereas Harvey dropped record rainfall, we could see record wind speeds at landfall. And that would bring possible record storm surge. I highly recommend everybody prays that Irma just does a hard right and goes out to sea. All right, I'm going to keep this one short. I'll be sticking at this all day. All right, so everybody stay cool. Definitely need to maintain a sense of humor throughout all this. I'll try and get mine back, that's for sure. All right, God bless everyone. This is the critical time frame here on Thursday for a couple of reasons. Number one, the center of Irma, how far north will it be of Hispaniola? It's on Thursday whether we see there's a northwest movement or a west movement. The farther west movement, the longer, the more likely that we're looking at a Florida landfall. I want to show you three probabilities. And again, we're still well away from the storm along the east coast of Florida, through the Florida Peninsula, or along the uh, uh, east coast of the Gulf of Mexico, or west coast of Florida. If there is no movement northwest on Thursday, then we're looking at one of these tracks into Florida or along the west coast of Florida. The timing of which will be tropical storm force winds arriving in the Keys in South Florida Friday night. Then we'd be looking at hurricane conditions spreading up the Florida Peninsula as we move through our Saturday. Not only winds, but the heavy rain. And if we're lo still looking at a category three or four hurricane, lots of damage. Now, there is another way out. If this system, Irma, continues to move west, gets very close to Florida, while this would bring major problems uh, to Cuba, I mean, if this system gets over Cuba, it would weaken, so its impacts in Florida would be a little less. Still a long way to go. So get yourself prepared now. If you have to get out of the way, pack your bags now. Move things that you may have to move to a higher level if you're in a flood zone. All those types of things. You want to start thinking about those now. And we're going to just have to keep on watching this day in and day out. And we know that you are going to be right there with us. Here's a look at the spaghetti models. You can see many of them do turn the storm going up into Florida. But some of the models are also trending further west and taking Irma into the Gulf. And taking Irma into the Gulf. And taking Irma into the Gulf. We'll keep you updated. And then there was 10. The 10th named storm of the season has formed in the Atlantic. We are monitoring now Tropical Storm Jose. So here we go again. If it's happening in a galaxy, then throw it all over it. Hurricanes, solar flares, planet X. How humanity's going to destroy itself at each other's necks. Yeah, I don't know if you know this. As human beings, if we want to survive and stop being a slaver planet, we got to come together. Everybody's got to learn to dance. All right, here we go. Hit the button, baby. This is a Thor News presentation. Stay cool.